Alright guys, so today I'm going to be doing a first look into the CRKT Amicus Compact designed by custom knife uh, maker Jesper Voxness. I hope I got his name right. And here it is. So this is a smaller version of the original Amicus design. And that knife was larger than this knife, with this knife having a three around 3 inch blade. The larger had a 3.5 inch blade, had a full stainless handle so it would be handle um, full um, stainless on the frame lock side and the show side and it was uh, the blade shape was a drop point as opposed to this one's Tonto blade shape. I'm not going to get too detailed on the specifications of this knife I'm just going to say just some of the things that I can remember off the top of my head but as I said before three and a half inch blade around three and a half inch blade Tonto blade shape Blade steel is ATR 13 or ATR 14 MLV, something like that. They're very similar steels. Has a thumb hole opener, so you can use your thumb to flick it open, or you can do like the middle finger flip, like you would with the Spidey. And it's a stainless steel frame lock, so it's a strong lock, solid. Uh, has a pocket clip that is, you can swap it from tip up or tip down carry. It's right hand only. You can see this is how much that would stick out if you have it in your pocket for the tip up carry. And for tip down carry, that's how much you'd have sticking out. Also has a partial back spacer with texturing here and a lanyard loop. So that's what I have for the specs. Also has a G10 handle scale, of course. So let's see how, the, um, I'll talk about how this feels in hand. So it feels pretty nice in hand. Uh, if you have it in this very like straight grip but if you have it in like if you're holding it like this and then you move your hand in to grip around it that lanyard loop will bump into that part of your of part of your hand so it does get a bit uncomfortable if you hold it like that but if you just adjust your grip for it it works fine and I, I flag my thumb high like this on the spine of the blade when I use a knife so it's not really an issue for me but for others where it, they just lean into a natural grip then that's what happens you could also put it in more of a pistol grip forward where you leave this point of the lanyard loop inside that part of your hand hold it like that as for the draw cut grip it feels comfortable uh, not really any hot spots for that and reverse grip feels really good almost feels it feels like it was made to be like this thumb rests very naturally on here this point just goes in between I have medium sized hands by the way it goes into that joint really locks that knife into your hand and the G10 scale does provide a good amount of traction for that so that's the grip let's go to the blade shape I do wish that they went with the original blade shape which is a drop point over Tonto Tonto, I think it'll work fine for my everyday carry purposes, but I just I prefer to sharpen a normal drop point. But that's uh, that's very subjective, and I don't think that's a huge deal. It flips smoothly. When I got out of the box, it was a little bit gritty, but I just put some fluorinated grease onto it, and it, it now it flicks out very easily. And it kind of it can kind of go in there. It doesn't have the strongest detent to retain the blade, but it's not a big deal. I, I don't see this knife ever snagging on anything that it would make it open by itself in your pocket or something like that. It's not a big deal. You can see. Yeah, it doesn't really make a noise or anything. It doesn't snap the knife shut when you use the detent. But I think it works out fine. Uh, what else can I say? So. Uh, some improvements I'd say is I wish that they would uh, round off that point on the lanyard loop. Also, I believe it's made of aluminum, but yeah. Uh, that, what else? I, I wish that they kept the original blade shape from the original Amicus. But other than that, I think this is a very good knife for the money. I got mine for around $35 on Amazon, if, if it would focus. There you go. 
but I think this is a good knife for the money, around 35 bucks. You can get a Tenacious for around that. So, I mean, everybody has a Tenacious, so if you want something a little bit different, a good uh, entry-level knife, EDC knife, and small tactical blade, I think this is a good knife for you if you're into that. The action is smooth. It carries nicely in the pocket. It's not like the main detracting uh, factor for the original Amicus because I was excited for that design. I think it looked really cool. Is that it was just it's just such a heavy knife. This this knife runs around four ounces, which isn't the lightest for a three inch blade, but uh, for the large for the original size one, it was about six and a half ounces, which. It's it's a bit too heavy for me for like that size, and I just feel, feel like it would be very clunky. But this one, I think it functions very fine. The balance point is kind of at this part of the handle, which is a bit weird, but it's a it's a small knife anyway, so it's still very controllable. If it was a larger knife, then I would be bugged by that more. But I think this is fine. So yeah, my first uh, my initial thoughts. I really like this knife. I think it's a good entry level knife. Uh, the tasks that I think it would be good for, uh, everyday carry or a small tactical blade, has a good strong enough lock that I think I would trust it in a, for tactical use or self defense use. Not that I carry my knives for that purpose, but I think it would work well for that. Also, one other thing I, I really like about this is right here. So the sharpening notch that was done, or the sharpening choil, my bad, it was done over here right over the ricasso so when you do sharpen this blade you do get to the the true end of the edge when you're sharpening and i really like that because you don't you won't end up with that weird uh recurve looking thing that goes on when you do sharpen knives that don't have the correct sharpening choil so yeah overall positive thoughts on this knife i'm sorry i'm really jumbled i just came back from school but i really want to get this video out because i was excited about this knife i think it's a really good knife so anyways thank you guys for watching please check out my instagram at hdt1116 and you'll see posts of like pictures of my knives and all the other gear that i carry on a daily basis you'll get a lot more updates than you would than youtube would give you but yeah just wanted to let you guys know that i like this knife and i'll probably be back maybe in a week or even sooner than that to make another video would be everyday carry update also want to do a video on my new 511 tack light pro pants so yeah thank you guys for watching you take care be safe